Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Mercer. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm going to be walking around today to show you some of the basics on your new Rockwood travel trailer. So one of the first things we're going to do is start up front here. We've got a power tongue jack. You can see this will turn on these lights. This will power it up and down, and that's a manual override. Underneath here, we have dual propane tanks with an automatic changeover valve. Righty tighty shuts off the tanks. Lefty loosey will open up the tanks. You've got your batteries located right underneath here. You've got power jacks in all four corners. To operate those jacks, we'll use these controls right here to turn on our docking lights, and there's a button on the other side to operate those jacks. As we walk around the outside here, we've got a nice little storage compartment right here with your accessories, your sewer hose, and your crank handles. We've got our sewer discharge, which is located right there. It is a good idea to check the lug nuts on your tires after the first 250 miles, as they can become loose. You do have a 25 foot 50 amp power cord that comes with it, and the electrical adapter was in that front compartment. This is your fresh water fill. This is where you fill it with a fresh water hose. Your city water connection. This is your sewage tank rinse. And then this is where you hook up your antifreeze when you go to winterize the camper. Your hot water heater, really nothing you should have to do from out here. They've winterized the camper just due to the cold weathers and pulled that anode rod. Seven eighths in socket, we'll replace that and put that back in. But really nothing else you have to do with that. Spare tires located on the back. You've got a receiver hitch underneath there, in case you want to put a bike rack or anything. That's right there. Hot, cold shower faucet out there. That is your furnace exhaust, so do keep the little ones away from that. And remember the buttons I was telling you about your jacks? Here they are over on the side right here. Okay. Outside camp kitchen right here. That's pretty self-explanatory. Exterior shower here as well, besides the one you had over there. And that's your button all the way up front there for your front jacks. Okay, let's walk inside and show you how to operate everything, okay? Well, first things we're gonna do, we walk inside here. We've got a refrigerator on our left-hand side to open that up, flip the controls back the other way. Our controls for that are located right here. You can adjust the temperature. And of course, there's also additional controls back there for the freezer. Your fuses and breakers are located right down here. Push that button to release that. Your breakers are 110 and your fuses are your 12 volt. Your stove, to ignite your stove, simply fold back your cover. You're gonna rotate this to high and just turn the dial and that'll ignite automatically. Simple, simple. Keys are located around your kitchen faucet. Microwave's pretty self-explanatory. Most of us have had those before. Your monitoring system that turns on your pump tells you the levels of all your tanks is located right here. Batteries in charge condition. This turns on our awning lights, step lights, interior lights, and the camper, bedroom lights. This turns on our Wi-Fi booster, our water heater on gas, water heater on electric. This will turn on our water pump right there. And then, of course, our tank heaters. This unit has additional tank heaters. This slides out and retracts our awning, and these are our slide-up buttons to slide out and retract our slide. So real straightforward there. Your controls for your fireplace, they do have a little remote for that. Your TV remotes, all your remotes are right there. Additional hidden storage behind the TV. Just flip that catch to open that up. Your fireplace will have uh, typically additional hand controls on those. I'm trying to find those real quick for you. Oh, I don't see those. Well, I'm sorry, they're right down here. So you just tap those buttons. And of course, that'll turn that on for you. Real simple operation there. Thermostat, that's all controlled through here. Um, okay, let's see if we can zoom in on this thermostat to be able to see this. We're going to hit the mode control. That's a gas for the furnace. You can see how it's turned on there. Up and down arrow keys will adjust the desired temperature that you want. Depending on which system you're, you want on, this will adjust. Just a second here. So we just shut that off right there. Now we we'll click the air conditioner, and then we adjust the desired up and down for the air conditioner. So a real straightforward control there. You can select, now you just heard the air conditioner kick on. So air conditioner or heat, everything from that central control right there. This is for your solar panel that's on the roof. It just lets you know your battery is being charged right now. That's the regulator for all that. 
USB hookups in the corner up there. LED lights. If you don't have a switch on the wall for any of your lights, all you have to do is push in the center of the lights. That'll turn those on and off. Beautiful camper. Looks brand new. I hope you guys enjoy your new RV. You do have ground fault plugs here. If those breakers pop out, so if 110s, some of your 110 outlets aren't working for whatever reason, do just double check those and those will typically reset pretty easily. You guys, this is John from Lakeshore RV Center. Mr. and Mrs. Mercer, I hope you do enjoy your new RV and we do appreciate your business. Thank you so much and have a great day.